everybody, Deathblade here with another Chinese fantasy novel FAQ. Today I'm talking about Taoist magic, divine abilities, and magical techniques. What exactly are they? What are the differences? What are the similarities? How are they used practically in the novels? Let's get started. I'm going to start with the dictionary definitions of these different terms, and I'm going to be using my favorite dictionary app, which is Pleco or Pleco. I've heard it pronounced both, both ways, however you like to pronounce it. Let's pull up the definition of Taoist magic. We'll start with that one. And it's actually fairly um, simple. I mean, you can see the definitions as listed here are magic arts of Buddhist or Taoist. And then there's other definitions which don't necessarily pertain to the way that they're used in Chinese fantasy novels. So this is relatively straightforward. Dao Fa. Dao means the Dao. Uh, fa can be translated a lot of different ways in this context and in the way it's used in the novels. Um, it means some kind of magic. So yeah, it's basically magical things related to usually Taoism, but it theoretically could be Buddhism. Let's go to the next one, which is Shen Tong. Now this is a little bit more complicated. As we go down the list, you can see there are different um, ways to translate it. Uh, magic power, supernatural power, remarkable ability are essentially the one the, the main definitions. Um, I chose to to use divine ability because of the character Shen, which is connected to gods or divine beings, uh, and because of the way it was used in the context of the novel that I uh, originally saw it in my project, I Shall Sell the Heavens. Uh, it was paired with the um, magical technique quite a bit, and was essentially some kind of you know basically magical ability. And so I, I, I liked ability and I liked divine. Divine ability seemed to make a lot of sense. And so that's how I started to translate it. Other translators might handle it differently. Let's look really quickly at the one that I translate as magical technique, which is shu fa or even fa shu is actually, they're, they're kind of synonyms. First of all, as you can see here, the shu fa is, uh, they don't, don't, there aren't even any English definitions in any of the Chinese to English dictionaries that I use, and I use something like 20 or 30. Um, so going over to Fa Shu, technically it's, it's not just limited to magic. It can mean other things, as you can see from the first definition there. Uh, basically it says magical arts. There's witchcraft in there. Um, so that's the one that I translate as magical uh, technique. So as you can see from the dictionary definitions, it doesn't really give you much insight into what they are. So what is the difference between them? How are they similar? I'm not sure you're going to like this answer um, because basically the answer is they're all the same. For all intents and purposes, they are basically the same. Now a caveat, uh, there are many people out there who have read a lot more novels than I have. Most of my experience and my knowledge comes from a few specific novels, those being the ones that I have translated. Um, so most of what I'm saying comes from the perspective of that of those novels, although I have taken a look at other ones. Uh, the author who I translate essentially uses the words almost completely synonymously. There will be some situations in which he kind of contrasts them, like he'll, he'll make it sound like divine ability is, is a more high level power than a magical technique. Uh, but having read so much of his stuff, I have seen that for, that most of the time he uses them synonymously. And it's the same with Taoist magic. Sometimes he'll even mix and match those different terms within the context of the same, uh, the same chapter or, or, or character or story arc. Uh, now that said, basically these are real life terms that authors have appropriated for use in Chinese fantasy novels. So when I say they're all the same, the other caveat is that obviously authors can do whatever they want. Um, it's the same in English, right? Like if you are making up your own fantasy world, you might say, well, uh, magical spells all require a physical component, but incantations um, only need verbal components. And so therefore you have a difference between spell and incantation that might not necessarily match up with the real life terms. And maybe even the real life terms can be used synonymously. So if you're interested in trying to decide what's different between the different terms, I would say rely on the narrative of whatever you're reading. For instance, in I Shall Seal the Heavens, like I said, although the author uses those terms almost synonymously, there are small character arcs in which he, he differentiates them. I think that's a result of basically convenience during the process of writing. Uh, although another way to look at it is that the rules change depending on the cultivation levels and the location where story is taking place within the, in the universe. Um, and of course, different authors can do it different ways. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I know that many of you who watch my videos have probably read a lot more different novels in English than I have read. Uh, so 
you know, do the, are there differences between them and other authors' works? Uh, have you seen any cool explanations where they actually go into an explanation of what these different things are? Uh, have you read other works where the translator translates it differently than uh, divine ability, uh, magical technique, or Taoist magic? What do you think about it? Do you have a different take? I'm very curious to hear. So that's it for this video. A quick announcement that I have uh, reverted my Patreon from a creator account to the normal version. In, a, in other words, I'm not going to be using Patreon anymore. Um, if you want to support me directly, please hit the like and subscribe button, leave me a comment, share the video with somebody that you think might benefit from it. Uh, in the coming weeks and months, I might try to arrange some way to support the channel directly, uh, depending on how consistently I can do the content. If I'm able to continue to do one or two videos a week, then I might consider that, but I don't want to uh, solicit support when I can only put out something like once every couple weeks or month or something like I was doing before as I was uh, heading toward um, moving from China to the United States. But now that I'm settled, I have this like office area, I hope that I can continue to do regular content. And uh, so Madam Deathblade, my wife, is actually learning how to do video editing so that she can help me. One of the other problems, in addition to just coordinating the specific time of shooting, of shooting um, was actually editing the videos because, you know, it takes, a, uh, it takes time to watch it, cut it up, watch the edited version and whatnot, but she's gonna uh, help out with that. Hopefully that'll make it easier for me to do the videos and I should have turned the volume off on my computer. Uh, Madam Deathblade may or may not actually launch her own little YouTube channel for some other stuff completely unrelated to what I do, um, but I'll give more information about that at a later date. So that's it for this time. I'll see you again on the next either uh, Yin Yang China or Chinese fantasy novel FAQ. Uh, for now, God bless.